Hello students, today we will discuss about unit number one. So unit number one, the first topic is introduction to web technology. So first of all, remember this document is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike license. So we'll start with the first, that is what is the course outcome of this unit. Okay, so in at the end of this course, student will be able to explain web development process and develop web application using front-end tools then the, what are the learning outcomes so at the end of this unit students will be able to describe the www and internet so student will be able to list the applications and development tools used for web development then student will be able to explain various website design issues and finally they will be able to list the steps to plan a website so now i'll start the topic so that you will fulfill all these outcomes you will get these abilities so we'll see the content what content we are going to cover in this session so first of all we'll see what is a web technology then we'll see internet we'll see after that we'll discuss about World Wide web then tools required for website designing and website design issues website planning and finally we'll uh, do one exercise okay so first topic I guess what is a web technology the student students this is a buzzword web web is just a virtual world where all the devices are connected with each other so the communication between all these computers are done by using markup languages and multimedia packages so this communication is called as web technology or the things which are used for setting this communication that is called as web technology so students there remember there are two types of web technologies one is client-side technology in which there, there are different languages like html css javascript later on we are we are having in detail about these uh, languages then there are server-side web technologies and which there are different languages like php gsp esp so all these languages are going to uh, we are going to learn in the future lectures so this is about a web technology just remember it's a communication between computers using markup languages and multimedia packages so, so the next topic is internet so internet is just a short form of interconnected network so it's a very huge network it's a giant network of networks so all the networks over the in, over the world all over the across the world they are connected with each other each other all the networks means every country's network is connected with each other and that big network huge network is called as internet like for example india's network and us network china network they all are connected with each other and that is called as internet so generally what internet includes so internet includes pcs other devices like servers or printers uh, after all your mobile phones your smart watches everything is connected in internet all the devices nowadays because of iot internet of things everything is connected in the network so the internet is done okay so internet is connected with a form of communication channels so there I, there are wireless mediums and wired medium also in the internet so how internet starts which where it was started so internet was started in 1962 as a defense project so us united states department of defense department of security they have started one project to set up the communication between these soldiers so they have given the name to that network that is arpanet its long form is advanced research project agency network so after that, after a few years, Xerox, which is one of the renowned company, they have developed Ethernet. So right now we all are using Ethernet for connecting the computers which e with each other. Each other. Then in 1973, Windsort and Bob can they develop a TCP/IP pro protocol, and which was the major milestone in internet for transferring the data over the internet. So nowadays we are also using on all the networks tcp ip is playing a key role finally we'll, uh, what is the use of internet so it is not, it's not don't require to tell you the 
use of internet because all we are using internet very well so it is used for emailing gaming video conferencing streaming audio video blogging software upload download etc etc there are every way every use uh, of internet is there and everybody is using it so this is about internet then the next topic is www it stands for world wide web so it also it was developed in 1989 by team berners lee so what is meant by www then so www is again a buzzword which tells the or which represents a set of technologies that allowed information on the internet to be linked together so nowadays we are watching we are using so many websites websites are nothing but a collection of web pages or it's a set of web pages where all the pages are connected with each other over the network so that is developed with the help of some web technologies and that set is called as world wide web so the common language which is used for world wide web is html that is hypertext markup language so now there are some related terms with the world wide web because world wide web includes everything about the network everything about the world uh, internet okay so the related terms are uh, first term is very important that is ip address so what is my uh, ip address let's consider that you are living at at your home and your home is situated situated in some some city that city name you're, you're identifying your name with, the, with that your home home with the help of that city name after that your home name so same like that on internet there are lots of machines lots of devices are there computers are there so all those computers are identified with the help of ip address it's just alpha numeric number okay if you see sorry so if you see this number 192.168.11.66 it's just alpha numeric means there are numbers separated by dot okay so this this is called as an ip address which is a unique address given to the computer over the network over the internet so there are two types of ip addresses that you you have already studied in computer network that is ipv4 ip version 4 and ip version 6 ip v4 is of uh, 32 bit size and ip v6 is of 128 bit size so the most of the computers or networks are using ip before right now till now so after that next concept term is domain names so domain names is what domain name, name is just a identification for resources over the internet or it just uh, shows the authority of that website who is the auth um, who is the owner of that website and uh, from which um, country or from which area that website uh, uh, is coming from okay who is the authority of that website so domain name, uh, names are also a replacement for ip addresses so ip addresses cannot be shown by the network because it is dangerous to show ip addresses to every person so to hide ip addresses uh, we are using domain names for uh, just for example here we uh, i'm giving my domain name that is i have uh, this domain for my website that is santoshnagargoji.com so here is the name authority that is i am the authority of that website okay so every company and the dot com stands, stands for commercial or company but uh, every country is every country websites are identified with the with their domain like government websites indian government websites are identified with dot gov dot in domain okay then educational websites or uh, university websites they are also identified with the help of .edu .in that's from india it's an educational website okay it's an educational institute website after the third term is url that stands for uniform resource locator or it is also called as universal resource locator so url is nothing but the location which shows the location the resource location over the internet of your that resource if you see here is the url if you can see here the url format the url format in this way that is first the https the protocol is provided here then after that 
the domain name is provided here that is santoshnagarvijay.com after that with by using slash again the resource is here that is location of the resource means what resource you are accessing that is here index.html that we are the file we are accessing this resource location of the resource is provided but again i want to tell you that is inbuilt here here in the domain after domain name inbuilt there is port number so generally the http protocol is using 80 and https is using 443 port number but this is not required here that is optional port number is optional because of that browsers are not showing port number here but at the background the port number is used then after that one another optional part is there that is a fragment identifier so when you use uh, when you search something on this page at that time your browser will use some search query here and that the search query name will will be will appear here like whenever you search on google google that time in at the url bar you will see address bar you will see the uh, fragment identifier there so search query you will find out so that that is called as a fragment identifier so this is this is about url the next thing is next term is http that is hypertext transfer protocol so you we you all know http is you is a stateless protocol and what is the protocol that is it says rules and regulations for message and data transmission transmission over the internet and http is used for that purpose then client server computing is one of the concept uh, one of the term that is whatever we are today we all people are using everything is located on one machine either it will be in india or us and we are accessing it from the another computer so the machine where our resources are stored is called as a server and from which machine that resources are requested that is called as client so this type of architecture is called as a client server architecture where clients are sending the request and servers are sending the responses so the next term is intranets and extranets where intranet is called as a local network a network which is uh, limited to the campus college campus or uh, office uh, of any company that is called as intranets like lan that we are using in our college is intranets extranets are those networks which are connected with the external networks okay which is connected with the other networks okay external networks that is called as extranets so this is about world wide web next we'll see the tools required for website designing so what are the tools required the first most important tool that you need you required that is a pc or laptop or notebook with a good configuration because this is important then you have to use you can use a text editor why text editor because everywhere you have to type a code you have to write a code and that code you can write with the help of text editor so there are various text editors available all these are used in industries excluding notepad and gedit so sublime text packets atom visual studio code notepad gedit etc so etc editors are available there you can choose any one from these editors for writing your code so the link for is provided on my blog to download these editors so web browsers third tool is required web browsers there are various web browsers web what is the use of web browser web browsers are used to display the output of website or web technology web program so firefox chrome safari opera internet explorer and microsoft edge etc etc these are the web browsers used for displaying the output then a graphics editor is required why graphics editor is required because every website is having images is having icons or any other uh, graphics so that graphics you can edit or you can create with the help of gimp editor gimp graphics editor then adobe photoshop or microsoft paint etc then a version control system is also required if you want to collaborate the coding means the task of programming if you want to share it with all the developers and all the people of your organization of your company and you have to write the code or develop the code simultaneously or parallelly with the team so that time you can use git github the very well software repository or code source code repository 
that you'll find on internet how does it is acquired by microsoft but git is also free of cost and then there is second uh, repository that is gitlab so with the help of those you can upload your source code on the internet and you can control the version means version means the development versions you can control there so this is about tools required for website designing then website design issues this is very much important okay so the first important design issue is browser and operating systems so you you must heard about you 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 have already heard about that or you have seen already that is facebook.com this website if you open on uh, computer any computer any browser a, any operating system it looks same or it, it is uh, it is responsive there or it is opening there no problem for opening there or no there is no restriction for you opening that website on any browser and any operating system so uh, you should know that you must your site should be accessible from any browser any browser and any operating system that should you should know first the second issue is bandwidth and cache so the internet bandwidth should be uh, if your internet bandwidth is very low that time uh, it's very uh, difficult to load your pages so in that time what you will do that is you will use lightweight pages or you will write the lightweight uh, pages or you will use lightweight graphics or images in your website if you use heavyweight images or heavyweight data it, it will take a lot of time for downloading Be uh, why because after downloading that data is going to be stored into browser cache which will uh, increase the speed of access of your website so bandwidth and cache should be considered while developing your, your application uh, so after that third website design is, uh, design issue is display resolution so where you will find out there are so many every device is of different uh, display resolution right now what is meant by resolution that we know it's a number of pixels in row and uh, into number of pixels in column so nowadays there are hd screens full hd screens smart uh, screen or uh, smart smart watch screen display so your application your website should be fit or should fit on all these types of devices so according to the re display resolutions you have to develop your website or you have to design your website the look and feel so your website should look very beautiful very handsome so for that purpose first of all you should do you should have a website theme so you should define a web, proper website theme where every page should have a same color same uh, same pattern of the design so there should not be a difference between first page and second page so every page should be in similar style same style then uh, there should be uh, very uh, readable fonts and graphics and colors there should be very good colors color combination then there should be a very good presentation and access of your website okay so then next issue is page layout and linking so uh, the page layout is very much important so grid layout you should use while designing the website developing the website and there should be navigation links should be used by uh, the developer so that uh, user uh, sh sh should get the links of the other another pages easily the next issue is locating information so should post put most important information in the center so that whenever users watch it he will get the uh, the information at the center then after that you can start uh, locating the information top from top right then bottom and finally you can place it in left so you can use this principle for uh, while locating the information on your website then uh, the next issue is make design user centric so you should public your content within a column so that it will become a user centric user will easily uh, see it or user will easily get that concept uh, content there so for that purpose you should provide if you have uh, having multiple pages in your website that time you should provide a table of contents as a navigation where a user should user, user can select the web pages and user can get the right information there itself and finally most important thing is a site map so every website is having a site map if you check so many websites are showing the site map so site map is a very little concept where you are just organizing the content hierarchically and you are providing the links of related pages whatever menus you are let's consider just for example whatever pages or whatever menus you are using there just 
organize it hierarchically that is called as a sitemap so later on i will show you some example of sitemap but right now just remember what is meant by sitemap so my sitemap it is just organizing content hierarchically and provide links of related pages so next point is website planning so website planning is very much important so you have to ask some questions to you while before developing the website so what questions you will ask the first question will be why are we developing this website what is our motto behind the website designing so what do we achieve by developing this website we'll use this website what is the information content of this website and how are these contents organized and then how the files prepared are organized so these questions you should ask first you'll get the answers of these questions next slide so website planning the first step is objectives and goals so you should define the objectives and goals of your website means why should you why are you developing this website so why are you developing your website if that website is a company website that time company will uh, is going to design that website for marketing purpose because their goal will be a marketing purely publicity of their company of their product okay so if you are developing a personal website uh, it's an objective and goal will be to make your identity publicly all over the world or all or, 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 or on the internet so that will be the objectives and goals of your website then second website planning step is audience user profile you have to identify audiences who is the audience of your website so if you are developing a kids website at that time it means that uh, this website can be uh, seen by the kids or their parents if you are developing a website like social network website facebook there you you, you will uh, you will observe that the audience is of every type means from the small baby the small boy who is in now fifth standard or sixth standard from that guy to uh, old person everything is uh, is using website so that is audience or user profile that you have to identify first then sketching out your design this is very important very 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 much important so how can you sketch the designs because see uh, before uh, writing the code before writing the code you should draw some rough sketches on the paper or take pen and paper and try some rough sketches of your website just for example i will show you here one example of sketch so this is a very simple example of sketch uh, that is drawn on pen and paper so this is a contact form that i want to uh, design on my web page so uh, before that we can draw it on paper like this that is contact is well, with the name title there for the form and name is a label and again the box is there for entering name email is a label and there is an input box and message is a label and then there is again a big input box area text area and finally at the bottom there is a send your message button so this way uh, similar to this way you can draw the rough sketches for your website where it will show what you are going to place on the web page on that website so after that we'll see uh, there are mock-up tools are also available so later on in the exercise i'm going to explain you about that also so mock-up tools are also available online mock-up sites are uh, available there that you can use for developing the sketches also digital sketches the fourth step is choosing your assets so if you don't have any asset that you don't you can't develop a good website so your assets will be a text a proper text you will cho choose theme colors you will choose images should be properly there lightweight images should be there compatible images should be there and the proper font should be there you should use a proper font okay which will be readable so next planning step is where should your website live on your web computer we have to find out the location of website on your computer if you are just writing a, a html page you can put it on your desktop you can put it in in, in some drive or some folder and there you can create the html file that is one of the option there but if you are prefer if you think professionally and if you want to host your website that is we, we will see in publish your website but the there will the, there is a um, specific location there is a defi defined location which is de de defined by web server software just for example i will show you a file list 
files location so see here i have created a my website uh, folder where i have created the structure of my website okay there are uh, related files i have folders and files created here but see here you can see the website is located now it is stored on my computer it is stored in var directory in www directory there is a www directory if you are using apache uh, http server that comes with this uh, folders and then in www there is html folder in html folder i have created this my website folder and then i have created this many folders and this file so this is one of the uh, this is the standard way to uh, store your website to uh, host uh, means to place your website on your computer or uh, server so see after that if you see uh, then uh, what should be the structure of your website okay so already i told you that there i have created index.html file images folder for storing images style folder for storing style sheets and then script folder for storing javascript code okay so the same way that i have created here you can see for storing images images folder is there for storing scripts script folder is there for style styles folder is there and index.html is the home uh, is the first file which will be loaded when you uh, load that when you hit that url so then finally you can publish your website you have to publish your website so you can ask uh, hosting companies uh, you, you will you can request for a good plan and you can purchase it and then you can publish your website there itself or you can do also you can connect your machine with the network you can get the uh, uh, static ip address global ip address and with that you can again by store or by installing web servers uh, http servers there you can uh, publish your website so this this is the planning of our website how will you start the development of website so this is the activity that you have to do after uh, attending this lecture that is learning by doing activity so i have I will, I'm going to explain you about how to uh, draw a simple sketch for your personal website. So there will be suggested pages, home, about me, qualifications, skills and contact me. But it's not uh, good to uh, tell here. So better way I will record a video on how to draw this simple sketch by using mockup tools, online mockup tools. So right now, for now, it is better to stop the lecture so we'll do what we'll just take a quick recap of our lecture so we'll see first we have seen a web technology its definition and its types we have learned we'll learn about internet and its use and when it it, it was started then we learned about www and its related terms then we learn the tools required for website designing then we learn about the website design issues and finally we learn about the website planning steps okay and this activity you have to complete and you, you have to submit it on moodle so we'll stop here the next topic we'll learn into the uh, next lecture so thank you for watching this video bye bye